Hi and welcome, this is Kevin Ebsworth here on kevinebsworth.com. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, on this video, about creating videos. Now, I know a lot of people out there are camera shy, they seem to take so many cuts and, you know, they, they, they worry too much about being in front of the camera, making sure that you look professional, making sure it looks professional. And yeah, I can see where they're coming from with this, but that's the problem. Now, if you want to be in front of the camera, you want to teach someone something and you know you have the urge to do like well on a video, it's it's hard to sort of get in front of a camera. People struggle in front of a camera because of the fact that they feel like they're not worthy enough to be in front of a camera. They feel like you need to be a proper professional. So they dress all up, they try and pronounce all their words correctly, um, which I did when I first started. and. Do you know what it doesn't make a difference you can have a really crap camera and you can do really well in your sales or whatever you're promoting it's all about the content that you're delivering now the amount of times that I can do a video and I do you know cock up a lot of times to be honest with you I ended up swearing and then stopped recording and then re-record again um, instead of just stopping it editing it and then re-editing it just to fix everything back together and I just find that it's easier if I can just do a video without actually like messing up halfway through but it takes me about two or three goes and then I'm done now I know people that have done like about a hundred times they constantly go back they try and remember uh, they what they've written down and yeah it does work and I know there's a lot of AI tools out there that makes things a lot easier but the best way to connect with people is via video and to actually show yourself on a video so people can see that you're a real person um, I know AI technology is amazing out there and it can help you to start off with but getting in front of a camera is not hard at all. I mean, literally, my camera is up here. I'm looking at the camera. I can see, you know, the silhouette of myself here on my screen. And no word of a lie, you know, I don't see it in front of a camera all the time. I was very shy to start off with. I didn't know what to say. I stuttered a lot. I feel the pain. At the end of the day, you know, just put yourself out there. Take your phone, you know, Get your camera up on your phone here we go so if i get if i get my camera up on my phone show you what you got to do is just flip the camera around so it's facing you so as you can see here my camera's up up here so that is all you need to do you can just take your phone speak in front of your phone you don't even have to look at yourself on the screen you can just look at the camera the camera on the phone is normally up at the top so you can be staring at that dot so it looks like you're staring straight at the camera you know, straight at the screen and then you can just talk about what you are teaching what you want to get out as your message so you know keep on at it don't don't feel shy just keep on at it eventually it will become natural and you won't have to ever worry about getting in front of a camera worrying whether you're gonna like mess up or whether you're not gonna say the right things just do it just put the camera in front of you and just do it if not do a little bit at a time and just watch the video of yourself i mean obviously a, a lot of people don't know what they sound like on a camera people sound different on a camera than they're doing that they're hearing themselves you know in their own head and to be honest with you, it's it's not a bad thing. You just got to get over yourself. It's an ego thing. So you, you need to, you know, just stop worrying about what people think about you, whether your voice sounds professional enough or not. Just go ahead and record yourself and, and put it out there. So that is it from this video today please you know I've, I've done a video on a great tool that you know you can record yourself with and i've even 
put it up on YouTube. So you, if you look back on a few videos, you should be able to see it. It's a Google Meet. That's what I'm using right now. I'm using Google Meet and it's connected to my camera and I'm recording it. So you can use it as well as a webinar. So you can use it for the webinar and you can host presentations and show you screen. But the only thing that it does not do that Zoom does do is you can hear the sound when you're watching a video on the screen. So that's the only thing it can't do. But that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I'm not really bothered about you listening to the sound because you're going to be watching the video of it anyway. On that note, guys, that is it from me. I would like you to just hit subscribe if you can. I think it's up here or up here or down below. And if you get a chance, come and take a look at the Home Business Academy. Their support network, their Facebook group is absolutely amazing. And they talk, you know, through, they talk you through a lot of stuff as well. So you can get on the lives with them at least seven times a week. They're available 11 times a week because there's two of them that's actually doing lives. You get Paul Hutchins doing a live, you get Mike Hobbs doing lives. And then they do a group session on a Monday and a group session on a Saturday. And, you know, you can ask any questions and they, answer all your questions so on that note guys thank you for watching and i hope that i've done you good and encouraged you to actually get in front of the camera bye for now take care